Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, we went into the Skeleton Goonies Lava Lair, topping off World 6. We met another Yoshi friend that was made out of the remains of Baby Bowser. Not gonna let those skins and organs and water and all that stuff go to waste, are we? We are efficient with our materials, and we build ourselves new friends out of them. Because we're Yoshis. And, in collecting every single last flower, Star Dash S opened up the true final level that we'll be saving for last. This time, because it's not the end yet, we're going to the Boss Tent, a separate side mode that opens up after clearing the main story. And I use the term story very lightly. I love how serious this music is. Boss Tent! The bosses you've defeated on your adventure are back and are more powerful than ever! We have the right to challenge the next boss! There's a lot to do and see here. Different tiers of bronze, silver, and gold difficulty. And wouldn't you know it, Big Montgomery Round 1 is one of them. You also see that silhouette is also very Big Montgomery-y. And that silhouette is very Big Montgomery-y. And there's also not Wing the Koopas. Yup, that means in total, 200% this game, you are fighting the same two mid-bosses six times each. The gimmick of the boss tent is that things are now much, much faster than before. The bosses have gotten kind of an overclocking power-up and they're a little bit more difficult, little bit. Your window to hit them is a lot smaller, you don't start with any eggs from earlier in the level, and you have to deal with their movement patterns being a lot rougher than they were in the past. Well, not movement patterns though, but when you speed up a movement pattern, you know how it is. Whoa, I went flying up there, and this thing is still ridiculously slow. Right, come on. Come over to me. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. I might actually lose this fight after I was just crapping all over you, Big Montgomery. Oh my god! <laughs> Next attempt at the third hitch! May this go a lot better than the previous attempt. Hey, just because I'm crapping on the boss for being reused and repetitive and redundant and rehashed and uh, rebooted, um, doesn't mean that I think it's necessarily easy. These do make these fights quite a lot harder than they were before. Pow! I pounded your button fast motion. I think that means that it hurt a lot more. Well, maybe from his point of view, I'm moving a lot slower, so I'm pounding his butt for a lot longer. Oh. Well, for clearing the first, that gives us a bundle of Wonderwool. Now on to Bert the Bashful. I think this will just be kind of a good time to play some music, because we've seen all these bosses before, and it's pretty much just the same thing, only faster. There are some cases where you have to lead your ground pounds, lead your egg fire and stuff, just because the bosses are moving very fast. And I'll make note of those situations when they come up, but aside from that, you've seen these before. That would have really sucked if I hit that shy guy right there. And I also don't want to really speed up and play music. I would much prefer to just play music over what's happening. Because it's already pretty fast and I want you to be able to follow what's going on if you want to use this as a guy. <laughs> okay, that was really funny. Just put it on the walls. <laughs> The other way is that this is harder is that no power badge is allowed and no more hearts than the default 10. Yoshi's default strength is all you get. Now on to not wing the Koopa and on with the music, which I'm probably going to use the same music that I used for that one video where the audio got lost because it's so wonderful and I really want you to go listen to it if you've not already. in the hot dog. Doot doot. 
For clearing every bronze boss, Bronze Yoshi is knitted back together. Who is sitting right outside? We're tagging him in to take on the silver bosses. It'll be an uphill battle for him. Though I do hear bronze is a lot more durable than silver, so maybe what he lacks in money, he will make up for in raw strength. That is, unless these wealthier silver enemies could afford a better personal trainer. Sears voice sounds like the cry of a ghost type Pokemon.
taste in if you'd consider this an upgrade or a downgrade, but regardless of what you feel, I'm going to be changing your experience to talk about the Naval Piranha fight, because in my personal opinion, this is where things start getting really, really hard. You're gonna have to be leading your attacks in order to make the tight windows of timing that this guy gives you, because he's already very fast. Uh, a lot faster than a plant would have you expect. Okay, got my bomb. He's coming over. Up. Oh, didn't get me today. Be ready with those bombs. Do not hesitate on the ground pound at all. Wow, if I still do this, that's going to be damn impressive. Eggs can be used, or I guess no eggs in this case. Those are just bombs can be used to get rid of the vines, but why would you want to do that when it's your only way of actually damaging him? Oh, ah! Only one hit. Crap, no, no. Hold right at the beginning. That is what I have learned. It's coming over. Hot! Really do sound like a drill sergeant. Sticking at his tongue in exhaustion. Aw, oh, he's panting. Maybe Piranha Plants are the dogs of this universe and not the Chain Chomps. You thought that all this time. Well, uh, give me that. And we're gonna have to be running to the side. Be ready to go. Have it run. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That window was way tighter than I thought it was. I thought because I spat out the bomb before he showed up that it would still be fine, but nope. Okay, not gonna try. Oh, try that. Yeah, okay. Took a little bit of damage, but I did it anyway. The third hit is, oh boy. Uh, I think that's how I want to put it. Okay, get on. Oh, no, no, oh God. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe I won't even get to the third hit at this rate. All right, go. Go up. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh, no, 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 sweep. Challenge again. Down, up. He's gonna come back up again. Be ready. No, missed. Oh, no, oh, but no! Oh. Oh, no. He stayed way longer that time. Come on. There it is! Lead him into it after it's already left your mouth and you should be able to do it. Now to survive this. Oma, Oma, Oma. Okay. Jump over. Do that. Okay, juggling between. Go over. Okay, good. Do that. Ah! Stop my toe! Survive the sweep! No! You have to touch down in between. There's just not enough flutter jump height. Upsie daisy. Cause he's a, a, a flower. Okay, not the time. Made it to the last hit, but with no hit points left to do it with. Gonna come down from above. Oh god, the sweeps. Forgot about the sweeps. Oh my god, yeah! Ah! Saw your face right in the camera! As one with general knowledge of currency in MMOs would tell you, or really just basic human logic at this point, whichever you think is more common. That is five silver wools together for a silver Yoshi. It looks kind of bluish like he's been eating colloidal silver his whole life, but uh, no, he's silver. And his mission is to prove right all the kids who chose Pokemon Silver over Pokemon Gold that it is better. Thank you.
Managing eggs is key for this one. I built up six eggs at the beginning of the fight and then just kind of held on to them and made it so I didn't have to make that many every cycle so that way I'd have three left at the end. By just juggling egg management, that's how I was able to do it. This fight sucks. <laughs> if I may put it very succinctly. I was never a fan of this fight and I remain not a what the heck even happened there? I like wave dashed along the floor with him. All right, so he goes down. He comes back up, hit him there. His invincibility frames are so inconsistent and the fact that he moves so fast, they are even shorter than they already were and it leaves me not really being sure when I can hurt the boss or not because you know, you'll throw yarn balls at his cannon and it won't do anything. And then meanwhile, you'll throw the yarn balls not at the cannon, but just at him at the right time and it's fine. Get him as soon as he comes on screen, that's the key. Somehow lived through that. Come on. He goes up, he shoots, he kinda scores on me, and then, okay, here he comes. Go, 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 go. Be ready for him. Ha! Yeah! Now don't miss the grab, you thank God! Oh! Gimme, 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 gimme. One left. If memory serves, this one doesn't change a whole lot from the faster speed. It is just the same thing, but faster. No having to lead your fire or any crazy trickety trick things like that. I could be wrong, however, and I thought you'd want to see my attempts at Baby Bowser. I just didn't want to bore you with all boss rematches, you know? Just kind of only the noteworthy ones. Wow, the frame rate seems to have a lot of trouble with him. Okay. Uh, oh. Wow, he's actually really fast. Whoa! Uh, well, uh, so much for saying this one really wasn't that bad. Uh, okay. Oh. Damn! Oh, sorry. He. Uh, well, now I'm responsible for the kind of person he becomes because I said that word around him when he was a young, impressionable baby. This kid is hyped up on caffeine! I always feel like my shots are one second too late for him! And I now know the misery that Kamek has babysitting his sorry little snotty butt. Uh, what? Oh, oh! Wow, that's fast. That is way faster than I thought it was going to be. Just get him as soon as he comes into the foreground. Don't give him a chance to move. That's how you do it. On the first phase, it's pretty easy to build up three eggs to give yourself enough hits. Here it comes. Oh, no. oh, you can't hurt him yet, right? I forgot, even though this just happened to me a second ago. Okay, come on. I need Shy Guys. He goes up, fireball. Okay, there it is. Shy Guys. Okay. Two. Three. You got the hit. There it is. Phase two. I can only take one hit. I can only take one hit. That's gate. That's the gatekeeping. That's not even the real fight. Uh, all right, which one's it gonna be? All right, get up. Doesn't give you nearly as much time to react to his, oh my gosh, to his everything, really. Okay, so he's not punching. Oh, he's firing. Oh, okay, good. You're invincible for a short time during that. Okay, there's the fire. There's one yarn. Okay, he's gonna fire. Ha! There we go. He's not looking for me. I think probably the ones in the back going for this first might be the optimal way to go, just because that way I'm not having to like fool around with him too much and getting those last hits when he's gonna be more desperate. Uh, okay, nothing. Oh, whoa! Okay, barely avoid. Come on, Yoshi, with your broken heart. Your broken heart that has endured so much. Please don't give out on me now. Moves so fast, you would never know that he's a giant toddler. Nope. Okay. Jump over that. Eat this. Okay, there's that. Okay, I'm in between. There's one. Okay, now he's mad. Go over. Taking out the footholds. Oh, oh no! Oh! 
I saw it coming and I, I couldn't do anything about it after I'd already jumped. <laughs> that was the worst. All right, I hear you. You're wanting cheese strats. I'm showing you the timing of everything that you gotta do. Here he's gonna home in on me and I run to the right and then I get ready to build up some eggs because I need to pick those up on him in phase one because it's when it's the easiest to do. But maybe you want an easier time doing this because it's just, it's really hard. It really, really is. I can understand that if maybe you think it's a little bit too much. And if you feel that way, I have good news. This is made completely cheesy by two player mode because you always have an egg. Just sink a second controller, Bring in an amiibo and always turn it into an egg, and you will always have an egg to hit whatever boss it is with. That way, you don't have to worry about any kind of not having enough eggs or having to like waste time building up eggs while the boss is just zooming all over the screen. It makes it markedly easier, and it's what I generally see speedrunners do, so keep that in mind. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. Those were very close together and very dangerous. Uh, no, okay. Uh, got him! Oh! Only took one hit! How do you like that? Oh, while explaining things, too! Okay, I'm not gonna get a big head about that, though, but I just really wanted to rub it in his face because he's such a little snot, and I want to show him how he's not as much of a hot snot as he thinks he is. I'm getting way too into this. Okay, really, it's not that big of a deal. It's just the first phase of the fight. This is where I gotta prove myself. <laughs> okay. So here comes the yarn balls. Gonna fly over them. Like the Yoshi dragon that I am. That's one punch. Man. Uh, oh god, no, I lost health that quickly. Okay, that's bad. Uh oh, okay. There's one. He's gonna punch again. At least he t gives you a tell right before he punches. There's the fire. Oh, barely. I think I might want to change the direction I'm running in just because yeah, this way I'll be able to outrun him on these. I do need to swallow one more ball of yarn, which I'll do. Oh, frick. Frick! Well, uh, I guess the way I died proves I'm hot stuff. It is a wonder the things one can achieve when they stop whining. <laughs> I'll, I'll fully admit that one. That was on me. Okay. So there's the fire. And that expo- Wow, I just stood there and took it. I was looking to see where the, um, where the, uh, little bits of wool came up. Okay. Here comes the fire. Good. Uh, on the tail end of the flame seems to be the way to do that, where that's when you're gonna want to get your yarn. Okay, that's one. Kind of sucks that I don't have more health going into this, but oh well, so be it. There's two. Okay, let's change direction. One's gonna come down right here. Oh, nope. Okay, oh no, oh no, oh no, I walked right into that one. I'm doing that a lot today, that's bad. Okay, it's two. Okay, he's gonna go for the fire. It's four. Now he's into phase two. While he's busy doing this, let's get the yarn balls. This is scripted. I'll take that. Go up, oh my gosh, that could have been so dangerous. I really risked my bacon right there. All right, come on, oh. Okay, didn't take it that time. Give me that. He's gonna breathe fire over there, missing me completely. That's what I like to see. It's another one. Okay, go. Just stay in the air when he's attacking. That's one more. Oh no, oh, I'm so lucky you're invincible during that, otherwise I would have died. Okay, okay. Screw you! You awful, poorly behaved. Uh, Brad. I'm not very good at disciplining children. I'm the one who always lets his cat get away with whatever he wants just because I love him too much and I don't want to be the one to tell him no, I'll leave him hating people to other people. <laughs> Uh, this is why I should never have children. <laughs> I, s God, I would, they would be so embarrassed by my lame insults. They really would. All right. Well, um, after giving him some tough love and putting him in timeout, that is the boss tent. Gold Yoshi has been knitted back together. Hey, would you believe me if I told you? that that is not the greatest challenge in all of Wooly World. Gold Yoshi, unfortunately as not durable as gold is, 
is going to be the one to prove his metal against Wonderful World of Wool. Next time on Yoshi's Woolly World. See you guys then.